I was five when I saw it for the first time. The glorious New York Dalmatian, as tall and proud as anything with a real taxi teetering on its nose. In an obedient heel outside of the children's hospital, it was created to comfort patients. Any joy it brought to the passerby was simply coincidence, but I took it in like it belonged to me. I'd visit if my family was running errands in the area if we were close by. I'd stare 30 feet up into the air at the thing, amused. In the next five years, I would be visiting the dog more often than ever. It was the only constant, it seemed, in the ever-changing city. Specialists transferred me, nurses switched shifts, the dog stayed. It waited. I began undermining. For what? Because I returned time and time again, defeating an exhausted what? What are we waiting for? What do we want out of all of this? Why do we stay? Never answered, only healed as I had every part of me killed and resurrected as I was pulled apart and strung back together again. No longer was the dog happy or strong or anything. No longer was it even a dog. Every time I would look out the window and see it, that 30 feet of plexiglass, just materials and shapes, never anything but a mocking mound. Maybe some things are only harsh. Maybe joy cannot repair. Maybe distraction cannot repair. Even as I leave the world of pediatrics unfixed and angry, the mound does not move. He's not spare a passing glance. He does not follow. 30 feet above me, the hospital dog provides comfort and joy, but never warmth, never love. After all these years, you begin to wonder if he was even there for you in the first place. Thank <laughs> you.